Here's what I look like now after two years of my glow up journey, but it wasn't always like this. I went through so many failures, so many breakouts. In July 2020, I disappeared for six months, cut out all the toxic people from my life, and focused on myself. And by the way, it doesn't matter at what time of the year you watch this. The sooner you take action, the better. I'm not gonna waste more time. Here's a no BS step by step full guide on how to glow up this year. Let's begin. Step zero mindset and self image. This is the most important step if you want to glow up ASAP. You need to keep in mind that it's not going to be easy. If it's easy, everyone will be walking around looking like Brad Pitt and Giga Chad. But if you take your first step today, you'll be way ahead of the people who are still thinking about starting. Here's a fact about these people. Let's call them the glow tastinators. These people will never ever start. They're still waiting for motivation to kick in. And after 10 years of waiting, he's 30 years old now. He's broke, no future, no children, no wife, unattractive, working 9 to 5. If this doesn't give you anxiety, I don't know what will. You want to know another fact about them? They already skipped the physical attractiveness part to attract that baddie in school. So, if you're listening to this, that means you're not a part of that group. I'm proud of you, bro. Focusing on physical attractiveness only, it's like having a nice looking car, but it doesn't work. What's the point of being attractive, but dead inside? You need to visualize yourself as someone who is already glowed up, which moves us to the importance of having a good self-image about yourself. If you see yourself as a weak and unlovable person, your mind starts to find ways to become that weak, unlovable person. But if you say that I'm that guy, I'm the greatest, your mind will find ways to behave like that guy. That's why Muhammad Ali always shouts, I'm the greatest boxer of all time, and I'll never be defeated. Most people will see this as a huge ego and need to get humbled, but believing in yourself and ego is two different things. And as you can see, he achieved that because of a positive self-image. But you need to put in the work, of course. You need to prove to yourself that you're that guy. Right now, let's talk about the thing that you're waiting for. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to glow up mentally and physically in 2024. Let's begin. Step one is physical attractiveness. You're tired of hearing this advice. I know, bro. Here's a no BS guide of what to do to be more attractive. Step 1.1, body aesthetics. This is the only activity in this guide that will make people say, I didn't recognize you for a sec when I first saw you. And I hope everybody watching experiences the confidence boost from that. You need to start having an aesthetic body. Having an aesthetic body is not normal bodybuilding like Sebum is doing. It focuses on the muscle groups that will make you look attractive and have the V-shaped look. And also having a low body fat percentage to show the muscle that you've built. Here's an example of an aesthetic body. To achieve this kind of physique, you need to train your back, upper chest, shoulder, traps, abs, neck, and biceps. That's why I created a free workout program for you and you'll find it in the description. And I also included a home workout, so no excuses, bro. But Aziz, should I bulk or should I cut? If you're overweight, getting into a calorie deficit of minus 300 calories, which means eating less and moving more. If you're underweight, getting into a calorie surplus of plus 300 calories, which means eating more and moving more. You need to hit your protein goal every day. To know how much protein you need a day, it's one gram per pound of body weight. Also, cardio is essential for both cutting and bulking. Not just for weight, but for health. Doesn't matter what form, just do something. Here is the only equation you need to build an aesthetic body. I'll explain this equation to you. The first part is hitting the gym daily. I mean every single day, even on Sundays. But Aziz, why hit the gym daily? You're supposed to take a rest day, right? Yes, it's a must to have rest days, but active rest days. Don't sit on the couch and watch Rick and Morty while eating a pack of Cheetos and Coke and say, it's my cheat day, bro. This is where all the people mess up. I know the people from Reddit are going to comment on this video. They're probably going to write a whole paragraph explaining why I'm wrong. I'm just sharing what worked for me, bro. The second part of the equation is consistency. There's a jacked guy at my gym. He's the ultimate Giga Chad. He actually kind of looks like Giga Chad. If I find his picture, I'll put it on the screen. I asked him one time how to stay consistent in the gym, and he said something that raised my eyebrows. He told me, I didn't go for two days in a row and I became a crackhead. I began to eat bad food, smoke weed, and lack of discipline in my work. I lost a lot of money and I lost my desire to go to the gym. All this is because of two days in a row without working out. So it's okay to skip one day, but don't skip two days in a row. I know the gym rats will relate to this so much. The conclusion is that don't skip two days in a row and go anyway when you don't feel like going. The third part of the equation 
is doing it for a long period. You only need two things to do it for a long period. First, you need to see the progress. Second, get complimented by a cute girl. Congrats, bro. You're addicted now. But some days, you don't want to go because you have an exam tomorrow. That's when you go anyway. You don't lack time. You lack time management. Start managing your day on Google Calendar. Here's an example of my calendar. The fourth part of the equation is progress overload. Progress overload is lifting more than you lifted last week. You can increase the reps or increase the weight. You need to track it using an app called Strong. Log the exercises you're doing and try to push to failure, the Sam Sulik style. The fifth part of the equation is good form. Don't lift to impress a girl in the gym. She's not looking at you, but she will if you focus on building a Greek god's body. Focus on your form over the weight. Here is an actionable step to do. Step one, go to the description and take a look at the workout program I did for you. Step two, sign up for the nearest gym to your house. I don't care if it's far away. You need to sacrifice for it. The days are going to pass anyway. Either you go today or stay weak for the rest of your life. The choice is yours. Step three, just show up and search for the exercises I did for you. Do them with the correct form. If you don't know how, ask a muscular guy in the gym. You'll level up your social skills and get a thousand dollars of value for free. So it's a win-win situation. Situation. And don't worry, the people in the gym are friendly. You just need to go there, even if you do only one set, and come back home. Step two is facial aesthetics. Here is the no BS way to improve facial aesthetics. Step 2.1, skincare. Here's my skin when I was 18 years old, and here is my skin now. To this day, some people think it's gay to put products on your face. This limiting belief will make you less attractive and reduce your opportunities in life. The first thing people look at when they're talking to me is my face face. And since the first impression lasts for so long, and also people are so polite and respectful, they'll not tell you the truth. They'll cut you off with no explanation. Here's a no BS guide on how I got glowing skin. The first step is knowing your skin type. There's oily skin, which is always shiny and greasy. Then there's dry skin, which is always dry. Then there's a combination skin, which is oily on the T-zone of the face, in the nose and in the forehead and the chin, and dry on the cheeks. And there is normal skin, which is heavy. Heaven. They have glowing skin with no products. After knowing your skin type, here's my skincare routine that made my skin glow. Morning skincare. I'll start by cleansing my face with this CeraVe cleanser, and then use a toner by Elta MD to remove the excess dirt from my skin. Don't apply the toner on a cotton pad. It'll clog the pores, which will lead to breakouts. Let the toner dry, and then I add vitamin C by CeraVe to make your skin glow. It's optional, so you can skip this step. Evening skincare. I'll cleanse and apply toner. Then I'll add this retinol by CeraVe. Retinol is the magic ingredient in skincare. Retinol cleans pores, protects from breakouts, closes pores, removes acne, clears acne scars, and slows aging. This is a must-have product. If you're new to retinol, start with three times a week. Then, increase the use gradually. After that, I moisturize my face with this PM Moisturizer by CeraVe. And also, I exfoliate my skin with this exfoliator by Derma E twice a week to remove all the dead skin cells, and it makes my skin smooth. AF. Also, keep in mind that if you see a breakout when using retinol, that means the product is working. Don't panic and stop using it. Trust the process. And then repeat this for a long period. You'll start to see progress after two weeks of this. Here's a bonus tip to have clear skin and is to drink a gallon of water a day. That's why you need to carry water wherever you go. You'll pee a lot, but you'll get used to it. Step 2.2. Having a good jawline. The best no BS way to have a good jawline is, step one, is hitting the gym. Step two, chewing on mastic gum to make the jawline stronger. I'll link the one I use below. Step three, everybody has good jawlines, but it's covered in fat. Remove the fat from your face and go below 15% body fat. You'll be a different person. Step four, mewing and facial exercises do work, but it's a long-term game. There's an app called Mew that will make the process easier. It'll help you make mewing a habit, which is crucial for getting visible results. And also, it'll send reminders to your phone, so you'll not forget to keep your tongue in the right position. And since I care about you guys, I contacted them and got you a 30% off the annual plan by using my code FRESH. You'll find the link in the description. Treat your face as a muscle group. You don't need to train it every day. Try to train it two to three times a week max. Step 2.3, grooming and hygiene. The biggest turnoff for everybody, especially girls, is smelling bad. If you're five out of 10 in looks and you smell good, you'll be eight out of 10 easily. People can see that you take care of yourself and make a good first impression. Here's my no BS shower routine. I don't use products that have some ingredients that I don't know how to pronounce. 
Step 1. I wash my body with an organic body wash. Apply the body wash whole body, including your armpits, your balls, and your ass, and you'll be smelling fresh all day. I'll include the one I use in the description. Step 2. I wash my hair twice a week. Wash your hair with an organic shampoo to remove dirt. Massage it gently, not hard. Rinse with cold water to reduce frizz. Step 3. I apply organic conditioner daily. Yes, I apply this daily. It'll make your hair smooth, and trust me, since I have curly hair, so I need to keep it looking fresh. Step 4. I apply coconut oil. This is how to make your hair grow fast, glow, and smell good. Don't apply too much. Apply just a little on wet, but not very wet hair. Step 5. I let it dry with air or the sun. What is ease? What if I get sick? You'll not get sick, just sit in the sun if it's out, and if not, it's gonna take longer. Step 6. Brush your teeth with an electric toothbrush that has a timer on it. Apply a little toothpaste and brush it gently. Don't do it hard, and then floss your teeth with this dental flosser. Step 7. Clean your tongue. All the bad smell is from the tongue, so make sure to clean it with this tongue scraper and you're good to go. Apply cologne. Apply it twice on your neck, once behind each ear, and once on your chest and wrist. After that is grooming. I don't go to the barber because I have long hair. I go to the barber once every month to fix my hair and make it look presentable. But if you have a fade, you need to go once a week. I know it's expensive, but you need to invest in yourself. Or grow your hair out if you're broke like me. And if you have a mullet, you can do it at home. Use a clipper and you're good. If you have long hair, try a buzz cut and see how you look. If you have short hair, grow it out and see how you look. Try different hairstyles. I won't tell you what haircut to get because I don't know your style. Scroll on Pinterest until you see a haircut that you like. Second is the beard. If you can't grow a beard like me, clean shave every two days. Don't use your dad's razor, it'll cause acne. I use this electric razor and it shaves like a normal razor. If you can grow a beard, grow it out and fix it every three days. Third is your body. Don't use the razor that you use on your face for your balls. You need to buy another clipper for your private parts. I use Manscaped. It's gentle on your pee pee and it's waterproof so you can shave in the shower. After shaving your private parts, shave your chest, shoulders, and abs. This will reveal the muscle you built or you will build. Fourth is your eyebrows. If you have hair in this part, pause the video and go shave it right now and come back. It can take you three seconds to be more attractive right now. Step 2.4. White teeth. To have white teeth, brush them twice a day with fluoride-free toothpaste. People ask me why fluoride free because fluoride is bad for testosterone. I brush my teeth with this electric toothbrush and then I apply these 3D white strips by Crest. Apply it for 30 minutes, try to do something with it, maybe read a book or study. After one week, you'll see good results. This is the only method to have white teeth. Don't use black toothpaste BS, it's not good for your gums. Let's move on to the mental side of glowing up now. Here is a no BS guide on how to glow up mentally. First, I want to say that most people clicked off, but you're here, so I'm proud of you, bro. Tap yourself on the back right now and actually be proud of yourself. You're not like the other people. I wish I could fist bump you because you're on the right track. I kept the most important part at the end of the video because I only want the people who actually want to glow up to watch this part. Let's begin. If your screen time is looking like this, that means this detox is going to help you a lot. Dopamine detoxing is the act of eliminating all the bad habits. They bring you a lot of pleasure now, but make you miserable in the long term. These habits include video games, junk food, porn, and vapping, etc. Replace them with more productive habits. They won't please you now, but they'll make your life more enjoyable and happy in the long term. Here is a step-by-step -step of what you're gonna do. Step one, fill out this mood self-assessment checklist. It'll help you calculate your depression and anxiety scores. Make sure to screenshot this score. We can compare it to a test taken in two weeks to see how you're feeling. Step two, we're gonna develop four habits that are gonna boost your happiness to the roof in the next 14 days. Meditation, gratitude journaling, exercise, and waking up before 8 a.m. Go grab a piece of paper and a pen and make a habit tracker like the one you see on the screen. And tick the box when you complete one of these tasks. When you first start, you need to start doing these habits as minimally as possible, like really minimal. If you did one push-up, if you did one second of meditation, if you write one sentence of gratitude, tick the box. If you woke up at 7.58 a.m., tick the box. Your brain will tell you that you're not making progress, but your brain is the reason you feel like shit. Your brain told you to watch porn even though it's bad for you. Your brain told you to eat junk food even though you're on a diet. The conclusion here is, to stop trusting your brain and actually say, I'm making progress. I 
used to do zero seconds of meditation. Now I do one second. This is progress, bro. And here's a bonus tip that will help you a lot. Celebrate it like you found the cure to cancer. Celebrate hard if you checked all the boxes for today. Jump around, smile, and tap yourself on the back because you're making progress toward your goals. Step three, quit social media. This is one of the best decisions you'll make in your entire life. I quit social media four years ago. I only use YouTube and don't even consider it social media because as you can see, you're getting value for free 99. Most people don't want to quit because they don't want to be lonely. And I can relate to this a lot. Loneliness is the biggest thing I struggled with when quitting social media. When you start to improve and focus on yourself, you start to feel that you don't relate to your old friends anymore. I struggled a lot in my glow up journey. I didn't find anyone to glow up with and not having anyone to turn to. I said countless times that this year is my year, but I kept procrastinating, feeling sorry for myself and wasted four years of my life trying to quit the bad habits. That's why on the 6th and 7th of January, my good friend Abraham and I will host an eight hour weekend workshop. We will reveal our ultimate 2024 glow up protocol. So if you're a young man who wants to glow up mentally and physically in 2024, then this is for you. Abraham has 50k subscribers on YouTube. He's the go-to guy for taking control of your mind and breaking bad habits. He helped me with my mental health issues. I'm now the happiest I've ever been. He'll reveal more about this this weekend. By the way, I won't do this again. It'll be only hosted on the first weekend of 2024. If you're watching before then, then this is a no-brainer if you don't want to waste this year too. Scroll down and click the link in the description right now and make 2024 your year. Step four, social interactions. I have a story to tell you. I went to a coffee shop last week and I saw a beautiful girl with curly hair and glowing skin. I could see she had a good personality because she was joking with the cashier. I could see the positive energy flowing over her, but I did like her hair though. I went to her and said, hello there, I liked your hair. It looks very good on you. Bro, I just saw her eyes filled with happiness and joy. She responded gratefully. Thank you so much. I like your hair too. Take a seat. I was like, no, no, I, I have work to do now. I just wanted to say that I like your hair. That's it. And she said, oh, sorry for bothering you. Thanks again. And I went to my table and I was working on a video at that time. And then I felt someone tapping my back. I turned around and it was her. She said that she wanted to know my name and take my contact info. So we exchanged contacts. And now we talk online, but we've never met yet. Maybe this girl can be my future wife. Who knows? Did you see that? A simple compliment can turn your life around. Go compliment someone and say have a nice day. If you like something, go tell them that. I know it's very, very uncomfortable to do that, but it's good for your soul. You'll make her day and it'll make your day with her reaction. So go out more, invite your friends for something fun, and if no one comes, go anyway and enjoy your own company. But if you invite 10 people, I guarantee that three of them will join and voila, you'll have a fantastic time together.